Hey everybody, Marjan here from Firefly Craft. Today we're going to be making a Mother's Day craft to celebrate the women who have sacrificed so much for us. I absolutely adore my own mom. She has uh, done so much for me, lifted me, guided me, educated me, uh, and, and been my one of my very best friends. And I'm grateful for to her. Um, so today's uh, craft is going to be a sleep mask because we know that moms don't get enough sleep. Right? So I've got sleep masks in um, cute colors. We're gonna cut out some HTV to decorate them, uh, just to make them a little more personal and fun. We're just gonna try and keep it lighthearted. Uh, sometimes the uh, lack of sleep in motherhood is completely depressing and overwhelming, but today we're gonna try and take that heavy thing and make it light and, and celebrate the wonderful sacrifice that, that women all over the world make. Step number one is going to be to design our file. You can see that I've got one designed here that I like. I'll show you how I did that. Go grab some text boxes. The first one says, if you love me, so we'll pick a font for this. I chose this one called Shink. And we'll go ahead and weld that together. and let's control G to group it. All right, then we're gonna do the let me sleep. Let me sleep. And we'll pick the font for this one. I chose one called, I'm not actually sure how to say it, Davis Nue, I'm not sure. Okay, then I wanna take all this Let's first one see in group, I guess. And that last one. Let's try that again. Control G for a group. Okay, then we're gonna select both of our text sections. We're gonna center them together. We're pretty close. Just want this let me sleep to come up a little bit closer. Just watch out for that Y. So don't overlap those. Okay, then I'm going to uh, make the whole thing be one. I control G again, we're grouping them. Yeah, and then you can add a little color to it. I like to do that if I'm going to, if I have different things on the page and I'm only going to be cutting one thing at a time. Uh, putting color in it will allow me to choose um, which color I'm cutting. So I'll just make this one go. Red palette. Okay, and then I measured our cute little masks. And I think I want um, something that's about five inches by an inch and a half. So this is 4.68 by 1.73, so that's close enough. So we're gonna use my little green one here that I've already measured out. Let's go ahead and delete this. But I just wanna show you how to make that. And the next, the next thing we need to do is to cut it. So what we're gonna cut on today is called opal. And you can see that it kinda changes color as it moves and faces different directions. It's really, really beautiful. Hopefully I'm not making you too seasick by doing that. Anyway, that's what we're gonna cut on today. And so I got my handy dandy Firefly Craft cutting chart here and the opal you can see here. We need a 10, a four, and a 16. Okay, one thing we have to remember when we're um, doing text is to flip it. So I go to object, mirror, Flip horizontally. We've got our ratchet at 10, our force at 16, and our speed at 4, which is great settings for this um, Opal HTV. So now we'll click send.
You can see we've got a nice cut here. And cut around this piece so we don't waste any more HTV than we need to. Now we need to weed it. Now weeding is unique with this opal because it's much thicker and not as soft and pliable as our other HTVs. And so this is more like trying to peel up stickers out of a children's sticker book. Um, so we'll have to be really careful as we're going along that as we do it, um, we're, we're paying attention to making sure all the letters are staying down where they should be. There we go. I always can see better if I've missed something when I turn it over like this, the correct direction. So it looks like we are good to go. The next thing is to pick a mask that this is gonna look good on. I think that one's gonna be too close to the same color. Hmm, maybe that one, that's a possibility. I think that one's too close also. Okay, let's go with the navy. Well, let's just get our heat press set up and the camera set up for the next shot. All right, now that we're ready to press, we're gonna pull back out our box and notice here we're 285 degrees, 10 to 15 seconds, and a cool peel. So I'm gonna lay my mask here. Get my, and because of this little nose piece here, I'm trying to be really careful to make sure that Get the mask laying flat. Let me go see where the middle is here. Oh, got a little tack along. Cut that before we start pressing it. All right, so my favorite way to find the middle. Go edge to edge, make the line. I've got this line to line up. And because of the fabric of this mask, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Teflon sheet to help protect it. And having a cool peel means we need to wait a minute for it to cool off. So I'm actually gonna just walk away, let it sit for a minute. All right, our mask is cooled down to the touch now. It no longer feels warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and cool peel this. And that's it. Easy enough that you could make these for every mom you know well maybe every mom you're close to and uh, you know, make one for yourself because this could be a gift to yourself to you have kids that read <laughs> to read this and uh, uh, ask someone else for help on your special day thanks for joining us for another firefly craft tutorial uh, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification button below so that you can always get notified when we come out with a new video and I uh, hope you'll try out some of this lovely Opal HTV. Bye, y'all.